all right yeah welcome back again uh this time we want to look at uh outliers uh it's as one of the assumptions of parametric tests actually so we want to look at a uh, not investigate outliers in our data set or our variables in our data set so i uh, want to look at uh, first before we start what is outliers we can call it like a, uh, the random component of measurement error. All right, uh, any data point that is a uh, significantly outside a distribution mean or media is an outlier. Any any data point that is significantly take take note of the word significantly or extremely or extremely okay, and that word is extremely outside a distribution mean or media is an outlier. Just imagine that you want to uh, take a uh, uh, collected data set, a data, I mean, from a maybe survey, whatever, you collect the data, and then maybe you have a scope of the data you want to collect. Maybe you want to collect the data based on the children between age of uh, uh, five years old to ten years old. That, that, that is the boundary. And uh, when the data is collected, and you, of course, you'll be expected to see the age of between five years old to ten years old in the, your data set. But you now see in the data set, you now begin to see age of 25 years, 30 years, 15 years. That, 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 that is outlier. Okay. Probably you may maybe see some age that, have, that varies, maybe maybe 12 instead of 10, 11. That, that is outlier, but it's not extreme. Okay. It's not extreme. But when you're now having 15 years, 20 years, 30 years of age in the in within the data set, it is called extreme outlier. And the, if they are more, or they are now becoming uh, many, it, it becomes extreme. If they are just few, maybe just counting ones, maybe that can be just a normal outlier, which is not extreme, not significant. But uh, if they are more than that, then it is extreme, which means it fails the um, uh, parameter assumptions. You may, you may you may need to deal with that. We have done that in a we have done that in in a, in a R. All right, we did that in R. We try to uh sorry for that we did that in how we try to uh, provide a solution to that okay how to handle outliers we did that which in our so if you cannot check you can go ahead and check the video but i want to so first if it's get it here in a, a path to see how to handle this so the first thing let's go to our data set first uh there are many things that are, can cause apply actually but i don't want to go to details about that which i've explained before in our in our section if you, are, if you are not what you can go ahead and watch it so let's copy this data set and paste in a uh, pass. Okay, let's as usual. So just paste here. All right, uh, let's paste here. Okay, in case we want to use anything, let's just. All right, so we have our data set here. So it's very simple to first check. Just select our, our normal, our numeric data set here and just go to plot. Let's first check by, by plotting first. We go to our bar chart, bus plot here. You can see bus plot here. All right, so here, what we need to say, just check outlier here. All right. You can see we have outlier. we have three here, three outliers. So this outlier we are here, is it significant or not? Is it is it allowed? Is it extreme or not? So we want to check. So we can't just conclude here because they're just three. So sometimes we can have a lot of outliers, maybe many, many outliers, but uh, which we may need to check statistically if they are uh, significant or extreme or not. So let's uh, close this now. We have found that there's outlier already in this particular separate width, all right. But sometimes a, a particular column may be significant, maybe 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 part may part the test, shall we test for example, a part the test of normality check, yet it may, it may have outliers. Okay? That's just something that that that, 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 that frame is, is bad. You need to do something with the outlier if if it's extreme. If it's extreme, you can you can uh, do something with it. If it's not extreme, just leave it the way it is, there's no problem. Alright, so let's just just now see how we can fix this. So this this outlier, this one that is giving us outlier, okay. Okay, let's let's go to our univariate all right we, go, we, do, we do what they call outlier test here all right click here all right so you can see here we are trying to see can 0.2 so after in the p it shows no outlier that was not liar all right no significant outlier so no significant liars so it pass so because it's not significant you understand now? it's not significant so it's not so it, it passed outlier. So it is one for multiple. Alright. You want to check for multiple outlier. So now we say here, 
the 20 percent most extreme value are, are shown so we have a is it extreme here see so is it extreme to so not extreme so no I no 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 so you say no 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 throughout so it means that's why Atlaya is not extreme so which means you are safe so that is how to check in past if you have Atlaya or not in past okay so here we can see that uh, we pass a uh, Atlaya test here so we can check for other other one for example other ones but they don't they don't have Atlaya actually if they have you have seen here just bring, can be another data here to check Atlaya if if there is or not so uh, maybe they can drive next time but for now this is how to check outliers if there is i mean significant or extreme outlier in your data set then you can just confirm that is all all right so thank you so much for listening i will see you in the next uh, class thank you